Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Mr. Kenneth Nuttall, deaf Christian Bible teacher from East Kilbride. Uh. Thank you. Presiding officer, thank you for inviting me to address Parliament today. Many years ago, I was driving my van through a country area and I approached a small town from the top of a hill. And on the way down, I saw a sign that said 30 miles an hour. And I happened to look at my, my, speed, my speedometer and I realized I needed to slow down. So I put the gears into neutral and let the, the vehicle slow down on its own. And further down the road, I saw just at the corner a policeman standing with a speed gun. So I had a quick look at my speedometer and I was doing about 45. And further down the road, I saw another policeman waving me to the side of the road and I thought I knew what was happening next. So I pulled over and the policeman came around the side of the van and he didn't look friendly. So I rolled down my window and he started talking to me and I looked at him and I said, I'm deaf. I gestured and he looked like he was stuck. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'll just leave him with this problem and let him sort it out. So after that, he thought a bit and then he pointed inside at my speedometer and he gestured, slow down. And then he said, you can go. And I thought, Phew. I was really relieved about that. So it seemed the policeman was stuck and he'd felt it was easier just to let me go because the communication might have been too difficult and I, was, I got to go free. Now it may be that you're smiling at that but the truth is that it happens quite a lot in society today. For example, you have deaf people that perhaps go to hospital or to see their doctor and the doctor or the nurse would try and speak to them and they realize they're speaking to a deaf person and they're stuck. And in that situation, it's not funny. It's really quite sad. I'd like to give you a quote from Helen Keller. And she said, blindness separates people from things that they cannot see. Deafness separates people from other people because they cannot communicate. Now the Bible pleads with us to walk in the ways of understandings. And that's from Proverbs chapter nine, verse six. So one way to walk in the way of understanding would be to understand deaf people and the different ways they have of communicating. Now we deaf people are very grateful to the parliament that we have BSL recognized in Scotland. And we believe that it will be a great benefit and help deaf people to give us equal access to services that are vital. Thank you. Mm -hmm.